Hello? Oh, hey, what are you, what are you doing in my garage? It is 7.51 in the morning. We're gonna get this done by noon, I have a feeling. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You're probably wondering what's different about me. You're probably not wondering at all. I dyed my hair back to brown. Um, it's semi-permanent, so it's gonna fade a little bit, but I hope you guys like it. I love the change. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. It is currently like 8.30 in the morning. I am going to get a DIY project out of the way, and I figured I would go ahead and record the process just in case you guys are interested in learning how to whitewash furniture. So, the backstory is that I have always wanted a whitewashed coffee table, but I haven't been able to find one that I truly liked online, and a lot of them have like this cheap wood look, um, some just didn't fit the size I wanted, so I decided to go on to Facebook Marketplace, and if you haven't dived into Facebook Marketplace yet, you're missing out, but I found a coffee table that was old but it was like the perfect size and I decided to go ahead and buy it. I, ha I bought it, I'm sitting on it currently, but I got it for $40, which is such a good deal because if it does turn out the way I want it, it's gonna be such a money saver because, do you guys hear my dog crying? Gigi, come here. Anyways, um, it is a money saver because the ones I wanted and that I loved, but I would never purchase because I am a bargain hunter were about 500 to $700. So I'm going to see if I can do this project Ooh. under 70 bucks. So I'm not like the biggest DIY person when it comes to white watching, white washing. So I went ahead and watched a ton of videos and hoping it turns out the way I expect it to. I'm going to show you how I whitewash the coffee table. So um, if you want more DIY videos like this, let me know because I love DIYing furniture. And I also have a couple other fall DIY projects I'm going to do. And if you want me to do them on YouTube, I will. So let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more in detail about my project that I'm working on, you can go ahead and check out my blog post that I will leave in the description box. So without further ado, let's start the DIY. So I have some gloves for the refurbishing. I have the sun bleach wood stain. I have chalked paint, a decorative wax finish, which this will be my first time using that. I'm very excited for the outcome. Then premium cut wiping cloths for the staining. Actually, sorry, the staining pads for the staining. And then, actually, I could have just used these. These are for waxing. I might use this for something different. Pretend I didn't get that. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean the coffee table and get all of the grime or anything left over from um, the years it's been used or the... So I'm just using um, Myers cleaner. I don't know about this because it's essential oil base, but we'll see, I'm gonna sand it down anyway. See why we clean it?
had this coffee table before me and really took care of it because you can tell it's old, it's solid wood, and it's in great shape. But over time, things collect dust. I know that my coffee table inside right now has a lot of dust. probably from my garage because when you're sanding or painting these dust bunnies are gonna make lumps and you don't want that I probably won't do anything to the inside but it's better to have that clean no spiders lurking around your house okay and then I'll flip it over and do the next side so now that the coffee table is clean this is why we clean furniture, even if it looks clean. It's been in my garage for a while. It's traveled in the back of the muddy Jeep. That would all cause imperfections in the paint. Now I'm going to sand down the coffee table now that it is all clean. I'm probably just gonna do the top and a little bit of the sides because the chalk paint will probably do the trick at the bottom legs because no one really pays attention to those. So I'm really focusing on whitewashing just the top. Here's my sander. It's just a little hand sander. It's about $5 at Home Depot. And you just like that. And this is a 120 paper. So you're definitely going to want to wear a dusk mask during this. I had my tank top like covering my nose because you're going to breathe it in and it's so nasty. Um, I had to change into my boyfriend's t-shirt because I was burning up and I don't want to get my clothes dirty. But anyways, here is the stained, stained? Here is the sanded product. You don't want to get too perfect and too nitpicky with the sanding part as long as you have all of the finish off the top there may be a little bit of stain left over but that's okay um, if you dig too deep down and have that original wood you're not gonna have like that farmhouse distressed look so this is actually gonna be a great base to start with when painting with the chalk but now I have to dust all that sand off the table sweep it out of the garage and then wipe this down once again. So I'm gonna paint the legs with the chalk paint. Let that dry, flip it over, and then I'll work on the top.
So they're doing construction next door, so you probably can't hang here very well. But I have the first layer of the chalk paint on the bottom, and it is drying so perfectly because it's like a matte finish. So when I go over with another coat, it's not going to be clumpy or peel off. It's the perfect paint to use on old furniture that you're refurbishing. So I'm going to give it about 10 minutes to dry, and then I'm going to go over with another light coat of the white chalk paint. And when that layer dries, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, paint the sides that you can't see when it's face down. You only want to paint what's viewable. So if there's like the bottom of the coffee table that's wood, don't worry about it. Nobody's going to see it. It's going to be a waste of your energy. So only paint the sides that you're going to see. So I'm going to flip it back over, paint a couple of the little trims that um, I can't get to when it's upside down. And then after everything is dry, I'm going to go ahead and go over with a little bit of a sun bleach stain to give it a little textured look. And then we'll wax it. So here's the first coat. You don't want it perfect, otherwise your coffee table will not have any character. And it's okay if you don't get everything on the first coat. This is the perfect paint for people who aren't good at painting, aka your girl right here. So the first coat's done, and we'll go over another time. So here's what a second coat does. This is the first coat. Here's the second coat. That's why two coats of paint is crucial. All right, I finished the second coat of the bottom. So everything you see that's white are the visible pieces of the coffee table. And then I'm gonna give that about 20 more minutes to dry, flip it over and finish some pieces that I probably missed from this angle. So while I wait for the paint to dry, I am having a smoothie. It has spinach, wheatgrass, almond milk, frozen banana and frozen peaches. Okay, it's been about an hour and it's dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. Okay, so as you can see, there are some pieces that I couldn't get to when it was upside down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those done now. All right. So I have some of the pieces down here drying from the extra coat and as you can see I got some paint on there but that is no problem because I already told you guys I'm a sloppy painter so I will just lightly sand that off. I kind of want to keep the top a little bit darker. I really like this look of the wood so instead of the super white wash I'm going to do a little bit lighter on the top because that natural wood color is really pretty. All right. So now I'm going to come down here and sand my little mistakes off the sides of the table. You don't want to sand anything until the paint is dry, otherwise you're going to have sand and wood scraps all over the table. No bueno. See how I'm lightly doing that? You don't want to do it too hard. And it'll eventually come off. You just gotta keep working at it. All right, I'm gonna work on getting the top coat sanded down a little bit more because there's some orangey tints that I wanna get rid of on the table before I start staining. So, just gonna do a top coat of going to do a last round of sanding on the top and then I'll be ready to add some detail work. See how I'm getting the orangey tints out of there? Now I'm going to clean the top off. This is honestly such a beautiful piece of wood. It has so much detail that's going to come up really nicely when I add a little coating of stain. 
And then I also have to add stain details down here to give it a distressed look. But anyways, I'm gonna sweep up and I'll be back. See these little divots? If you want, you can fill them in with like a wood putty, but I love them. I think they add so much natural distress and it does keep the character of the coffee table and it lets you understand that this coffee table has lived a wonderful life and has a lot of history. So I call them little history divots. I'm gonna keep them in there and I think it looks good. So now we're gonna do another round of cleaning. Using the wood stain and it's sun bleached. It looks gray, but it won't turn out gray when you add it with the wood you have and the paint. And you're gonna want gloves for this. And I'm using a staining waxing pad. I bought a set of them because you don't wanna wax with the same thing you stained with. So you're just gonna add a tiny bit. My dad always told me that a little goes a long way with stain. And then we are going to stain the top, just like that. It's gonna give it a nice whitewash. I probably need both hands for this. I'll be back. first coat of the stain dries I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the bottom and add a little bit of stain to the white paint to give it a distressed look First of all, you're getting a workout in here. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll have it in better lighting soon, but I'm loving how the distress is looking out. But down here, you can kind of see it's just a quick glimpse of how I'm doing it. But it is so awesome. All right. Now that the second layer of the stain is dry, I'm gonna take the paintbrush and it is wet, and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of paint like that, a little go a long way with water, and then I'm going to add the strips onto the top until I give it a nice look. So you can tell the difference between the side that has the white paint and then the side that doesn't. And the reason why I'm adding a little bit of water to the chalk paint is because it thins it out obviously, but that's what gives it the white wash. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a white table and that defeats the purpose of the white wash. So by adding water, it still gives you that almost like stain type of texture. And you can do this until you get the whitewash color that you prefer. Sometimes you could just use the water that's on your brush instead of continuing to dip it into the paint. 
So this might take a good 20 minutes before I get the color that I desire. All right, so here's the color I'm going for. It's really bad in this lighting, so once it's in my living room, you'll be able to see it. But it is a nice white wash. All right, so the top coat is dry. It looks so much better now that it's dry and not wet. This lighting is so bad, so bear with me until I put it in the living room. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the wax. I'm doing a clear one, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it with like the wax pads. And then I'm gonna let it dry for 22 minutes. Now that the wax is dry, I'm going to buff it with a cloth and then I'm done. If you feel the table and it feels a little tacky, then you know that there's wax still there. So just take your towel, keep rubbing, and then when it's smooth, the wax is gone. Wax on, wax off. So here is the final product. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked it, if you thought I should have left it plain on top, and let me know what I should DIY or refurbish next. But please subscribe, like this video, comment, and turn on your post notifications. I'll see you in the next video.